How to adjust brakes on a Cub Cadet 1000 Cub Cadet long tractors have been around since the early 1960s. The Series 1000 Cub Cadets are the company's smallest and least expensive offerings. The Series 1000 features a tight turning radius for ease of maneuvering around obstacles, color gasoline engines and cutting decks ranging in size from 42 to 54 inches. The Series 1000 Cub Cadet also features a rear disc brake that must be adjusted from time to time to restore braking performance. Things you'll need Wood blocks Wheel chocks Pliers Feeler gauge Wrench set Drive the rear wheels of the tractor onto blocks of wood to create working room underneath. Chalk the front wheels to prevent movement. Locate the disc brake on the underside of the rear of the tractor just inboard of the right rear wheel. Locate the cutter pin which keeps the crown nut from turning on the right side of the brake assembly. Pull the pin out with a pair of pliers and discard it. Insert a feeler gauge into the gap between the brake disc and the brake pad. Tighten the crown nut with a wrench in a clockwise direction until the gap is 0.011 inches measured by the gauge. Push a replacement cutter pin into the hole in the crown nut. Bend over the ends of the pin with a pair of pliers to keep it from sliding out. Remove the wheel chocks and drive slowly off the blocks of wood. Tips Warnings The brake must be adjusted if the tractor does not stop fully when the brake pedal is applied or if the rear wheels still roll when the parking brake is applied. Never leave the engine running while making brake adjustments. Turn the key to the off position and remove it from the ignition to prevent accidental starting.